What's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to the Riding Dad channel or welcome if it's your first time. Either way, very glad to have you. We just came out of the rainy season in Florida. I got a couple thousand miles. Definitely not dirty enough, but I want to do it. Uh, we are going to go ahead and clean the air filter. Not only are we going to clean it, we're going to change it from red oil to black to blend in with this black and stainless look I've got going on on this Lowrider S. So let's roll the intro without further ado, and we'll come right back and get into it. Riding down a YouTube channel, it's the 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 riding down a YouTube channel. All right, so in the past uh, half a year-ish or whatever since I've had this, I have ran basically just with the rain sock over it because there was a really good probability in Florida where I live and ride predominantly that I was going to get rain at some point. So I figured let me just leave it on and the black will mesh good or whatever. Anyway, so now we're finally in Florida's winter season. Uh, I am actually going to change this color from red to black. A lot of you probably don't know that you can do that. Um, and some of you, if not a lot of others of you, maybe do know how to know that it is a possibility. I think I just had a seizure. So uh, today what I'm going to be using is this really simple, small, easy kit, uh, somewhat cheap. I think it was like 15, 20 bucks from Amazon. Of course, I will link it in the description as always, but it is from K&N. It doesn't need to be used on a K&N filter. It needs to be on, used on any cotton-like um, or cotton rechargeable rechargeable like reusable filter that you can clean and that requires oil there's a pretty darn good chance that if your filter is either um red in color or blue in color or even sometimes black honestly it's just a lot less common um there's a pretty good chance that it is a cotton type reusable filter which basically just means that there's this mesh wire <coughs> oh that was weird. There's this mesh wire over that you can see. Uh, it's like a screen material and all the material in there is uh, cotton, which basically means that you need some sort of oil uh, in there to soak up the debris and filter all of the crap that goes in your filter and actually get it uh, get it caught and actually help filter. Otherwise, you're just basically just using like a, like a sock over your filter. So... Uh, yeah, this is a kit. You could buy them separate. You could buy, I believe there's different color oils too, but uh, this is the easiest to find for sure on Amazon. Everybody in the world has Amazon right now. Um, and it was pretty cheap. And it does come with two things. And it comes with directions. Uh, it comes with K&N's Power Clean. It's their spray-on uh, filter cleaner. And then it also comes with their black filter oil. You can do this with any filter oil and any uh, filter cleaner. But before we start cleaning it and re-oiling it, we have to take it off. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We'll get it off and then we'll go outside and spray it. All right, so now that we have the filter outside, uh, we're gonna take Canon's Power Clean. We're gonna go ahead and spray it. They say spray the inside and the outside uh, to go ahead and reduce or um, break down the dirt, break it down so you can spray it out later. And then uh, we're gonna let this set for about 10 minutes, making sure not to dry, uh, let it dry, which means don't leave it on the sun, any of that kind of stuff. Um, so we're gonna saturate this let it sit right here it's shady thankfully it's the morning and the sun's not out yet um, we're gonna let it sit and do its thing uh, it is very important you see i'm gloved up very important to make sure that you are wearing gloves and uh, even eye protection um, make sure that you do not breathe this in and get it on the skin it will cause chemical burns it's a pretty serious um, solution so without further ado let's go ahead and spray this and your finger will get tired. All right, nice and saturated. We're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. 
All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, still nice and wet, which is what we like to see. We don't want, again, we don't want it to dry out. <clears throat> Uh, now we got our hose we're going to hose it out from the outside in theoretically the clean side to the out or to the dirty side pushing all of the contaminants out we want to do our best to get all of this crap off of here and again being very careful we don't get this on uh, ourselves or you know whatever so uh, let's go ahead and hose this off and then we're going to have to let it dry uh, i'm going to let it dry this is saturday morning i'm going to let it dry all day uh, hopefully by sunday morning it'll be dry enough to re-oil so you guys will see me back tomorrow morning. All right, so it is a new day. We got our filter oil. We have our filter that has been drying outside, not in direct sun, uh, but in my screen in area, kind of screen in area, <laughs> uh, a little bit of a shaded area, but uh, definitely got a little hot out there. Uh, it's been a full, right around full 24 hours. You see it's obviously still red, so I'm not sure if that's just for whatever reason they use red cotton for the Trask filter or if that red has just been staying in there um, or if I needed to clean it several more times. You can repeat the process we did before uh, spraying it with the solution. Uh, supposedly, I will mention also supposedly a uh, very soapy water solution works like just Dawn dish soap in a spray bottle with water. Supposedly that works also. Um, uh, who knows? Didn't try that yet, uh, but I heard good things about it on the interwebs. Uh, but yeah, uh, maybe after two or three more times it would have worked. Uh, but this filter wasn't super dirty to begin with. I wasn't worried about it. A lot of its life was spent behind that rain sock anyway. Um, so I didn't want to do more uh, than just that one time. But anyway, now we are going to oil it. Basically, you're just going to take your filter oil, whichever kind of oil it is, and put it on every or in between like every kind of pleat. Um, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to let it rest for 20 minutes and we're going to come back to it. Uh, all the oil should have wicked into it in that 20 minutes uh, when we come back to it. If there's any spots that we don't feel that uh, are covered in oil, we can touch it up. Uh, and then we're going to put it back on the bike. So let's get started. All right, so it's been it's been well over 20 minutes, I'll tell you that. Um, and let me tell you guys, I done messed up. Uh, you saw me in the video go back over it twice because there was still a lot of the red parts on it. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, Should have trusted the instructions and just let it wick for 20 minutes, let it alone, and then worst case scenario, go back over it. Um, so I put a little bit, because I was going like real, um, real thin in the beginning. So I was like, oh, this is the first time I've done an air filter like this. I've done the foam, like dirt bike air filters before, like just the foam block. That's super easy. Um, so yeah, um, too much, too much. So learn from my mistakes. And um, I just spent the last 25 to 30 minutes with paper towels and uh, like Q-tips, ear cleaners, kind of trying to get in there as best as I can without ruining any of the integrity of the filter. Um, it's to the point where like nothing's leaking out, but it's definitely it's definitely too wet. I mean, just wiping my glove along the side of the filter get a little bit of residue. So. I am not going to clean it out uh, just to do this all again. I am going to wipe it off one more time 
and then just hopefully in the course of writing it, um, it will kind of set in the filter and everything. So yeah, uh, learn from my mistakes. Don't over oil your filter. Uh, but on the bright side, it does look pretty black. Um, there's still a little bit of red poking through in some spots, but I think maybe the next time I clean the filter, um, that will all be gone anyway. So yeah, um, here it is. What we are going to do now, uh, I'm gonna wipe it off one more time and then I'm gonna install it back on the bike and let's, let's see how it looks. All right, so we're all done. Have it back on, can you, yeah, it's in frame. Uh, I think it looks cool. Like I said, maybe one to two more total cleanings. Honestly, if I were to spray that stuff again, um, the first time we cleaned it out uh, and redo it again, that might work. Honestly, I might try soap and water in the future just to see how it goes, um, especially because that's a, soap is not as toxic as, you know, it's there. It's not, you wash your hands with it, you know? So um, just to be on the safe side and then I'll, I can even do it in my slop sink inside. I don't have to worry about going outside. So uh, definitely keep posted because I might update you, especially on Instagram and do little Instagram updates uh, for stuff that works or doesn't work that I go back to. But yeah, it is on the bike. I took the opportunity to go ahead and really clean out. Um, there's a little bit of dirt in there. It's a clear cover. So cleaned out that looks really good all black get a little bit of a different look than you know factory from from factory pieces kind of thing uh the oil was super easy like i said learn from my mistakes don't over oil the filter and this this method goes for anything car filters um you know if you have a little pod filters all that stuff but yeah don't over oil big mistake on my part uh you know sometimes things happen you learn from your mistakes this is an honest video i'm truthful with you guys i done screwed up i'll be honest um, that's going to do it for this video though, guys. I do appreciate you guys for watching. Please hit the thumbs up on this one. It really does uh, help out my YouTube channel and it shows appreciation for me. So I appreciate it. Um, definitely check out the videos that are on the end of this and check out all the links in the description as well as my Tucker speed or especially, uh, my Tucker speed affiliate code and my Tucker speed coupon for you guys. So until the next time guys, ride safe, have fun, dad out.